Welcome to Electricute, where we share some of our favorite products and components for your crafting technology products. I'm Dia, Sparkfun's textile specialist. And I'm Nick, creative technologist. And today, we'd like to share a very special Valentine's Day project. For V-Day, we wanted to make something really romantic. Just kidding! We made a gross anatomical heart in a jar. It's more complex than most of our projects, but also very special. Let's take a look at what it does, and then we can break down how it does it. When you place your hand on the sensor, the heart will start beating. But not just beating, the heart is beating in time to your pulse. It's like watching your own disembodied heart beating in a jar. Or a loved one's. Let's talk about how we made it. The heart itself is made out of a one-to-one -one mixture of glycerin and gelatin. That gets microwaved 10 seconds at a time until it becomes really gooey and sticky and gross. When it cools, it becomes tough, rubbery, and flexible. We added food coloring and poured it into a heart-shaped jello mold, which is why it's so big. Apparently, people like lots of jello. It's receiving pulse rate input from a small open hardware pulse sensor. It's a very easy to use plug and play Arduino sensor that takes heart rate from simple fingertip contact. The pulse sensor pumps information to an Arduino Pro, which in turn animates a servo. That's what's inside the heart, making it beat. We also added a red LED, because people have been asking us all week whether there's going to be a light in it, and we caved. The whole thing is bonded to a sheet of clear acrylic and immersed in mineral oil, which is non-conductive. That allows us to give the illusion of a formaldehyde jar without worrying about shorting the electronics. The cabinet isn't strictly necessary, but it gives the project a much more polished appearance, and also gives us somewhere nice to hide all of the wires. If you've got any questions about this project, or products that you'd like to see us feature, or you just want to know where Nick gets that cool beard oil he's been using, feel free to hit us up in the comments, and we'll try to answer there or in the next video. And with all our hearts, thanks for watching.